Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to play Holes by Passenger and it's going to sound a little bit like this. Um, so to play the song, cap Passenger would normally play it with a capo on on the ninth fret. So the ninth fret on my guitar is like kind of somewhere up in this region, and you've got to play it up here. And that is that's just not a cool situation because I have a really small guitar. Um, so I'm going to play play it and teach it to you with the capo on first fret. So yeah, just kind of bear that in mind. If you want to play longer the CD, it's going to sound a bit different. Check your capo on nine, you'll be away. Okay, so you're going to need five chords for this song. You've got an E minor seven, an E minor. A C, a G, and a D slash F sharp. So if you know how to play those chords, um, skip ahead, and if you don't, keep watching. So high E string, string on, low E string, string six. Um, so yeah, if you just check the boxes around my head, hopefully those will be right, because quite often I'm saying one thing and, you know, a whole lot of different things happening down here, but I will try not to, so it's all good. So to play E minor seven, you're going to put your first finger on the fifth string second fret, your middle finger on the fourth string second fret, your ring finger on the third string, sorry, on the second string, third fret, so there we go, nearly, and your first finger on the first string, third fret. So that's an E minor 7. So now to play an E minor from here, all you're going to do is you're just going to take your ring finger and your little finger off. That's it. So now you've got two fingers, E minor. Voila, it's beautiful. Okay, so the next chord I'm going to teach you is C. So you're going to put your first finger on the second string, first fret your middle finger on the 4th string 2nd fret, and your ring finger on the 5th string 3rd fret. So we've got an E minor 7, E minor, C. To play a G, you're going to put your 1st finger on the 5th string 2nd fret, your middle finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, your ring finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret, and your little finger on the 1st string 3rd fret. Cool. Um, so the last chord now is D slash F sharp. So what you can do, is you're going to put your first finger in on the uh, second string. I lie. I lie. No, no, no. You're going to put your first finger, your first finger on the third string, second fret. Your middle finger on the first string, second fret, and your ring finger on the second string, third fret. Okay, so that's a normal D. But instead, we want to play D slash F sharp. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your thumb around the neck of the guitar and put it on the second fret of the sixth string. So this. This now gives you D slash F sharp. If you can't reach the F sharp, it's totally cool. Do not worry about it. The world will not end. The tooth fairy will keep giving money. It is all good. Life is happy. So if you can't play the F sharp, added bonus, but don't worry about it. No. If you can play the F sharp, life is good. If you can't play it, life is also still good. Okay, so for this song, um, you've got like kind of one and a half strumming patterns and two chord patterns. Really cool song, really cool. So the first um, chord pass I'm going to show you is for the verse. So you've got an E minor 7, a D slash F sharp, and then a G, and another G. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold each of those chords for two beats. So you've got E, sorry, so you've got e minor 7 for 2, D slash F sharp for 2, G for 2, G for 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you the strumming pattern. So it's going to sound like this again. So all that is, on the E minor 7, you've just got down, down, up, change to the D slash F sharp, and then you've got down, down, up. So you've just got down, down, up, change chord, down, down, up. And then on the G, you've got a down, down, up, up, down, up. Ooh, it's kicking off. Excuse me, let me just turn my Facebook off because you really don't need to be bothered with the notification sounds. Fabulous, there we go. Okay, so, sorry, before Facebook interrupted. Um, on the G, you've got down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So the strumming pattern from the beginning, uber slow, on the E minor seven. Down, down, up, change to D slash F sharp, down, down, up, then on the G, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So that's basically 
basically the verse. Um, so what I'll do um, is I'll sing kind of what words I can remember through with that for you so you can get where it fits in. But yeah, to be honest, really cool, really cool song. Um, yeah, nice rhyme pattern, sounds good. flow of it. I won't need the words for the second. Lies. I don't know the words for the second. But there we go. Okay, so that is the verse. Done, dusted. So then you get on to the chorus. So the chord pattern of the chorus, you have a C, a G, a D, and an E minor. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to hold each of those chords for, hang on, let me just have a think. So what you do, you're going to hold, sorry, my, I didn't write this bit down either. So you're going to hold each of those chords for four beats. And you're going to play the strumming pattern with that that you did on the G. Because if you think about it, you're holding G for two beats, G for two beats, G for four beats. It's remarkable, isn't it? So you've got a C, a G, a D, E minor. E minor this time, by the way, not E minor seven. Not that it really matters, it just kind of changes, you know, it kind of, the, having those two fingers kind of changes the sound a bit. And then it's just down, down, up, up, down, up. So from the beginning of the chorus, C, G, D, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Words, words, ever always my problem. Something along those lines. Cool. Um, so then, I'm just gonna check. I might have lied to YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna admit that might have been a thing. Because then you get to the bridge. Then you've got like another verse, another chorus, and then you get to the bridge, and that's the bit that goes. Well, sometimes you can't change and you can't choose. The chord pattern for this bit. I mean, it's not you know much of a chord pattern, but so what you what you've got. You've got a C, a G, and a D, and then another D. So you've got C, G, D, D. And once again, you hold those for four beats with, well, this bit kind of kind of depends what mood you're going for with the song, really. You can keep doing the down, down, up, up, down, up. But this is kind of like the bit of like turning point of the song. It's really cool. And then it gets a bit more goey after that. So to be honest, you could just literally just do one down strum, then hang around for three beats, reflect, think about life. G, once again, have another reflect, have another think about life, um, sort of thing. So yeah, C, G, D, D. And that's the bridge. And then it kind of, you know, repeats again, it gets a bit more goey, and yeah, really, really cool song. I really like it. Passenger is really cool. His voice is like, yeah, really just a new, unusual. And I have to say, yeah, if you haven't, if you kind of, you're just watching this because you've heard a passenger because of like, let it go, uh, let, let it go, no, that's frozen, um, let her go. Yeah, seriously, like, check out his album. It's really, really cool. I really like it. Um, so yeah, please comment, please rate, please subscribe, and please request. So um, yeah, my lesson for today, I mean, so yeah, I kind of have like a statistics exam tomorrow and well yeah, I'm in final I'm in my final year of my degree now, so this exam tomorrow is kind of worth like five percent of my whole degree, which you know it doesn't sound like that much, but when I kind of think about how, you know, what I spent like one unit in second year, like you know, six weeks of my life, that's probably, you know, worth about what, what, 45 minutes is tomorrow, but that'll be fine. Um, either way, I'm not gonna give you a statistics lesson because I'm really, really bored of it. Instead, I'm gonna give you maybe, you know, a monumental moment sort of lesson. So currently, I have 49,974 subscribers, and by the way, it is 20 to 9 on Sunday the 11th of January 2015. So that means I only need another 26 subscribers and then I've reached 50,000 which is crazy um anyway so yeah this is kind of I'm just kind of you know hoping that either I'll go to bed tonight and I'll have 50,000 subscribers or I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll have 50,000 subscribers but yeah no I created my channel it says on 2nd of April 2009 I can't remember when I uploaded my first video but yeah I mean I'm pretty pleased. So hopefully it's going to be a good day and hopefully my exam will go good. So if any of you have, will go good. God, that was great English. Anyway, so if any of you have exams, good luck. If you don't have exams, keep working hard because it's such a struggle. Otherwise, if you've done nothing all term and then suddenly you have to cram, 
not cool. So yeah, anyway, have a nice life, YouTube. Please comment, please share, please subscribe. Please tell your friends to subscribe. Um, but yeah, don't tell them to like unsubscribe because if I got past 50,000 and then people unsubscribed and I dropped, that'd be really, really sad. But it's all good. Anyway, so yeah, have a nice life, YouTube. Um, yeah, please comment, please share, please subscribe, please request. <laughs>